What's up guys, this is Dan with Next Level. Welcome to the first on snow edition of the Next Level YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite five backcountry fundamentals to mountain riding. Let's get into it. All right, guys, before we get started, I just wanna give a huge thank you, huge shout out to the thousand subscribers to the Next Level YouTube channel. You guys, we appreciate your questions, your comments, and obviously your subscriptions. Please spread the word. We're out here, we're trying to answer you guys' questions, your comments about the videos that we've already done, and chances are you've got a video that we wanna get done and we wanna show people what that's about. It's in the queue and we're doing it this year. Anyway guys, about the five basic fundamentals to backcountry riding, we're gonna be talking about all kinds of different things between body position on the snowmobile, throttle brake control, and everything in between. All right guys, so fundamental number one is just our body position on the sled. This stand up riding position here, I call the neutral position. You can see that my, my arms are relaxed, I'm bent at the knees, I'm almost sort of pressuring the balls of my feet where I don't wanna be is locked at the legs, bent at the torso, and then still trying to look up. You can tell this is a really uncomfortable position and one that I shouldn't ride in. So I'm gonna come down to my low handlebars. I've got the black bar on the Polaris sled, which is the lowest bar. And in order to try to achieve that vertical spine feel, I've gotta keep a fairly bent knee, weight on the balls of my feet, and I'm sort of cat-like ready. I'm not super rigid in here, but I am ready for that or that, depending on the throttle or depending on the environment changes that come up. All right, guys, so fundamental number two, and this is a good one. When we are practicing our opposite foot forward turns, we're gonna make that position change, where if I'm making a left-hand turn in the deep snow, I'm gonna put my right foot over on my left running board. But notice this, notice that I'm keeping my foot almost at like a 40 or a 45 degree angle where my toe is in towards the tunnel and my heel of my boot is actually on the outside of the running board collecting that outside running board traction. Difference there is a lot of riders are here parallel like this. We don't have nearly the traction and we're actually a lot more apt to sit back like this whereas if I'm here I can run that knee, hopefully that protected with the knee pad knee, into the tank or into the console help me keep my balance and my control. So in this position, a common mistake is people will run with their body position like this. If you can notice, I don't have a ton of balance here. I'm also taking my hips away from the snowmobile. If I do have to ride with both feet on the running board, I actually wanna be in this position where I can once again use my knee against my seat and I have a lot more control, a lot more balance in this position versus here. All right guys, big one is our throttle and brake control. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced level rider, adapting throttle and brake control throughout your riding, it takes a long time, it takes a ton of practice, but it's really important being that, if you're in that neutral position stance, you got your handlebars right out in front of you. This is what controls the snowmobile. So having throttle, having brake control, you can see that I have just adapted a riding style where I'm gonna use my index finger on my brake lever. And guys, I am riding, not applying, but riding with one finger on the brake at all times. There's a lot of guys that'll run the middle finger. There's even guys that'll run both. But the important part of that is as I'm riding, there are a lot of opportunity where I'm just burning brake and or I need the brake completely so that I can keep control of the snowmobile. On the throttle side of things, keeping your throttle in a position where it's not hard to get to, no matter what environment I'm in. If I have to, if I'm really leaning over and I've got to grab the throttle from under here, or if I'm way up in front of the sled and I'm, out of, and I'm out of a position a little bit, having that throttle right in a comfortable spot is really important. So once again, adjusting your handlebars, getting your brake lever, your throttle, all of the ergonomics to the sled will make a huge impact on the way you ride. All right, everybody, so fundamental number four, and it's funny, when we talk about all these fundamentals, by the end of it all, there's a lot of people that have a ton of different techniques uh, where they need to be on the snowmobile, uh, their positioning, throttle and brake control, when really at the end of the day, I want you guys to remember to breathe and look ahead. Looking ahead is such a big part of your riding. If I don't know where I'm going, I, I can't anticipate the changes in terrain. So I'm on this sled, whether I'm neutral position or I'm opposite foot forward on either side, the thing that doesn't change is my ability to look out in front of the snowmobile. You have to think five to 10 seconds in front of the sled. If I can think that way and keep that looking ahead body position, I know what's in front of me and I can anticipate what the sled needs as well as the changes in terrain. In addition to looking ahead, when I am 
when I'm through the trees, a lot of times I'm making a plan. So I'm not just looking ahead, but I'm actually structuring what the next 50 feet look like. So I'm, I'm finding this cool little opening in the trees or a hallway in the trees. Even when I'm out in the open and I'm looking where I want to go, it's not just about looking in front of the snowmobile, it's also looking in the direction that you want to go. All right guys, the fifth and last backcountry fundamental to mountain riding is the ability to blip the throttle. Uh, we flip the throttle, we blip the throttle, whatever the word is for you guys, blipping the throttle, it simply means I need to give this snowmobile a little shot, a little burst of power to get it to do what I want to do. So I'm sitting on flat ground, I'm in pretty deep snow right here. I'm going to need to blip that throttle if I want to put this sled on its left or right hand side. It doesn't mean I'm going fast, it just means I'm giving that sled just a little burst of energy to help me with all 165 pounds of me put that sled or manipulate that sled in the direction I want to go. Well, thanks you guys for tuning in once again. We really appreciate all your subscriptions, all your questions, all your comments. Remember you guys on this video, do the same. Leave your comments, your questions below. If there's a video about some riding tips or anything else that we're doing out here now that we've got some snow to ride on, leave those in the comments below. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.